Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an updated tool cart video to show you what I've changed. I've moved some stuff off my cart, got some new tools. Let's check it out. So we'll start off with the back of the cart here. Uh, I keep my magnets and we don't have pockets on our shirts, so I got my pocket screwdrivers on each side of my box. Uh, I like to wear a hat backwards, and so when I wear my, uh, my headlamp, I can't wear my hat because I'm on a creeper. And so what I do is I put a, a headband on and obviously safety glasses because I wear contacts and I can't get anything in my eyes. And then I normally hang my headlamp here. Uh, I've been currently using my Streamlight Stinger, uh, my Streamlight uh, USB Twin Task headlamp. Uh, I got a clock here so I know what time it is, so I know uh, what's going on. I can keep everything managed. Uh, right here is one of my newest additions. These are from Vim Tools. They are Torx universal sockets they come on a magnetic rail so i was able to just hang the rail on the back of my cart right here uh, these are the snap-on um i forgot what they're called they're for uh rounded fasteners so if you ever have a fastener that's starting to round uh grab one of these sockets and you will keep it from rounding completely and you'll be able to get it off I keep these pliers on my cart because I use them all the time. They just lay on my sockets. I wish I had another alternative. Uh, I have these two snap-on pliers. They've always been up here on my cart for multiple videos. And my newest snap-on pliers are these uh, needle-nose pliers. And these are the ones you've seen on Instagram and TikTok where you can use these and hold your body weight. Um, I don't do that because obviously I don't want to hurt myself, but anyways. Uh, so those are there. I'm waiting for my snap-on guy to get the smaller pair of these. I love these pliers. They work great. I use them all the time. That's why they're here. Obviously, you know, in my videos, I use paint markers and I like the Sharpie uh, oil-based uh, paint markers. So I have, currently I have a green pair, a green one and a pink one. Now this is the Mantis tool grid. So it works like this. Uh, you have your, your tool grid here and then you have all your adapters and you screw them down with a Torx bit. And then now I can organize my cart in the best way. I used to use the rails that the sockets would come on and I screwed them all down to my cart. I wish I could show you what's underneath this Mantis tool grid, but it's a pain. There's holes everywhere in my cart. And I couldn't organize my cart without drilling more holes and it was very difficult. So a quick view of the sockets. I have my, uh, my Senex Tools Deep Impact back here, the Capri Shallow Half Inch, and the Capri Shallow 3 uh, H right here. Uh, Senex Tools, all of my impact wobbles are Senex Tools. These are the Half Inch. Uh, let's see, these are the 3 8 and the Quarter Drive. Uh, those are all Senex Tools. No problem, you just send them an email with the part number, and they send it to you when they have it. All of my Hex, Torx, Torx Plus, and uh, E-Torx on my cart are all carbine tools. I like these sockets. I actually own them all in Snap-on, and I like the carbine tools a lot. And so I've taken my Snap-on home, and I have all the carbine tools on my cart showing you that they are worth it because obviously I wouldn't put them on my cart if I wasn't going to use them, and I only use them exclusively. So I like those. So that's enough of the sockets. Keep a tape measure here. Got a little magnetic claw right here. Big snap-on half-inch breaker bar. Uh, then you move over here. So what I did was I took this Sunex tools cart here, just like this, and I modified it. So I got this snap-on magnetic tray, and I just took the magnet off, and I put it here. So these are some of the sockets that I use, uh, that I have sets of. That, like These are the Sunex tools magnetic impact wobbles. Um, I keep those up here, just the 7, 8, 10, and I think this is a 13. I got 5 eighths and, and a 5 sixteenths and a quarter in the universal and the universal impact wobble. Snap on, these are my universal 7, 8, and 10. And these are the e torques that I use. Uh, these are also uh, Vim tools. So I have the e torques here that I use uh, nor regularly. I'm doing a Duramax Turbo, so I have some of the sockets up here that I'm using. I got all my screwdrivers here. Now, this is the coolest thing I've done to my cart, is I added this side tray here because uh, I don't lock my tools up, but I want stuff that's accessible, and I don't have room in my drawers of my toolbox for things like screwdrivers and pry bars and things. 
So I have all my pry bars here. I got my big Matco uh, four footer. I got my uh, Ulsa Tools uh, pry bars here. I keep all my ratchets here. Uh, the Capri soft grip uh, ratchets that just recently came out. Here's the three eighths. Uh, here's the half inch. And the quarter is here. So I use those a lot. Now this is a Koken ratchet. Now if you've never used these, these have the least amount of backlash on these ratchets. So Koken Tools, I have a link in my link tree for a discount to Koken Tools. Those are awesome. I keep all my radiator, let's go from the side here. These are all my radiator hook picks along here. Uh, these are my Easy Red slash Mountain slash, not even sure, uh, long ratchets. I have a video about these I did a long time ago. These are my Capri Tools uh, long box wrenches that I keep on the front that are not um, ratcheting. Uh, these are what you want to break it loose. You don't want to break your ratcheting wrenches. Let's get to the drawers. So here is my gear wrench set of wrenches. I've had this forever. Uh, the only thing I want to do different with this is I'd like to get this set in um, in a um, uh, flex head. That's the only thing I would do different here. I keep my tight reach DIY extent, extension uh, ratchet here. Uh, I have the professional versions in my toolbox. This is obviously smaller, so it fits in my toolbox. I got the Matco pocket pry bar set. Now I know that everybody's gonna say Matco doesn't make them, it's fine. I bought them from Matco. I like them, they work great. Now these are the turbo cack sockets for charge air pipes, turbo uh, clamps. This set right here is amazing. I get a lot of mixed reviews. I have a lot of people asking me where I got them, what the part number is. Uh, then I have a lot of people say, oh, I just use an 11 millimeter, whatever, I don't care. I do a lot of turbo stuff, so these are worth it to me. I uh, keep my big uh, Olsa Tools uh, crescent wrench here, and then also the small one. I use these for alignments when I do alignments. I don't do a lot. I got my my uh, my snap-on uh, cordless ratchets, quarter, the short 3 8 which I almost never use anymore, and the long neck brushless one. Now, this is not the high torque. I want it to spin faster. I don't really care about the torque. And uh, recently, I just uh, joined the Milwaukee Club, so here is the little handgun right here from Milwaukee. Oh, and I keep this one up here. This one I use a lot. This is the 38 Stubby Impact. This one is amazing. I love that rat, that, uh, that gun. Uh, I've reduced a lot of stuff in my drawers to try to remove weight from my cart because it weighs so much. Here's the Lyle Tools hood clamp, uh, hood strut clamp right there. There's a whole bunch of radiator hook picks in here. I did a video about this right here. This is the best tool for breaking heater hoses loose. Uh, they don't make that tool anymore. It was by Blue Point, and no one's made it anymore. I can't find it. Uh, I wish I could because it's amazing. Now, if you work on European cars or Sprinters, um, diesels, uh, you want this set right here. These are for the click lock clamps. This has a bend on it, and these swivel, so you can get to pretty much just about every angle with these. These are in my Amazon store. There is a link to those. Uh, let's see, anything else in here? Uh, nothing super exciting in there. Uh, oh, I uh, keep the Schrader valve tool here. Uh, don't buy a cheap one. They'll break. I had a cheap one and one of the legs broke off. So that's a snap on. Uh, and then this is just a little, a little tray of caps and stuff. I have a yellow one and a red one here for six liters for the coolant degas bottle. Um, you disconnect the hoses, you plug those two and you can move the bottle and it doesn't leak. Move to this drawer. Now this is my snap-on little ratchet here. It, it came with this set, which is sockets. And then this one here is for the bits. And so I bought the bit set because they're little mini bits. These work great. I like those. Uh, brake feeler gauges. Uh, if you don't have these right here, these are awesome. You can check brakes without pulling the wheels off. So these are plastic. And then this is the set that I've had since I started, the regular ones, but you gotta pull the wheels to do that. Little Titan Tools uh, uh, Tamper Torques. Those work great. Uh, some other stuff in here. I keep my mirrors. I open this drawer quite often because uh, this mirror and this mirror I use all the time. My, this, my three inch mirror is the best. Uh, my advice is buy them from Matco. Matco, if you have a problem with the mirror, 
they replace the whole mirror and not just the lens. Um, I've had other other companies where they just replace the, the mirror. So I like that, they replace the whole thing. Uh, it's got my blow guns here. Uh, I got um, some 3.8 uh, Harbor Freight locking 3.8 uh, inch extensions. Now these are my multi-tool pliers. I use these all the time. These and my snap-on trim popper. Between those two, I use those for everything. And then my, probably the most other used tool in here is my quarter drive locking extensions. Those are blue point. Uh, this drawer is just my hammers. This is from Dynamic Tools. I use this primarily. This is my big uh, hammer I use. Then I've got three Harbor Freight hammers here that I've had since I started in the industry. Uh, this is my Mac Tools. I had a smaller set before. I bought this one. I took the other one home. This has got all different lengths, uh, torques, screwdriver bits, everything. Uh, when I'm doing dash work, I use those. Use that quite a bit. Uh, just a bunch of hammers, and obviously my two hood props here. Uh, my plier drawer. So I have um, several pairs of channel locks. These are my big ones here. If I wanted to press a caliper real quick, this right here is from Matco. This is for diesel filters. It opens much wider. The teeth on it, the little arms are are knurled, so they don't slip as much. If you do diesels, this is the filter wrench you want. And then of course I have big ones, uh, small ones, and then I have my channel lock ones that I wanted to give away uh, a couple Christmases ago. Uh, my new pair of vice grips that I keep in here, uh, these work with a slide hammer. And you know what I found out? They have a hex on there. There's a big thing on TikTok about, uh, somebody said you can use this hex to tighten this down tighter and also use it to loosen it. And then everybody is like pulling out their vice grips and they're like, mine doesn't have it. It does, it has it. Uh, just a bunch of other pliers, uh, several pairs of cutters. I have uh, several pairs of, of uh, little uh, needle nose pliers and then all of my long different orientations of needle nose pliers. Now uh, this drawer I had to reduce quite a bit because I got my Milwaukee stuff. Now this is the big, Milwaukee half inch uh, 1440 foot pound gun use that one for pretty much lug nuts anything tight Got the 3 8 one, but ever since I got my 3 8 stubby. I have not used that once Keep an air hammer in here. I have this right here This works for breaking suspension components loose if you can't reach it with a hammer you can use this. It's really heavy I got it a long time ago. It was left in a car uh, I got some air hammer bits in here, and then the rest are in my in my toolbox. Now this right here is an amazing air ratchet from Capri. This is a flex head impact. This thing will flex all the way completely 90 degrees right here. So you can use this with a wobble socket and get to brakes, uh, front end components. I strongly recommend this. Now the thing I'll tell you about this is on paper, this has the same torque as the um, as the Astro. My coworker bought the Astro one because it was cheaper, and one day he couldn't get a balancer bolt off, and so he said, hey, try your Capri. I came over with the Capri and it zapped it off. So even though on paper, this and the Astro are the same, they are not the same. Uh, I keep some Matco gloves here, uh, just to, um, if I'm doing front end work, and I have my giant crescent wrench here, my friend Henry, Henry Henderson. I used to work with him a long time ago. One of the fastest guys I've ever worked with. Um, he gave me this back when I first started. And got my half inch impact snap on. Three eighths uh, impact from Matco, which I bought when I first started. It was the, one of the first pneumatic tool purchases I bought. And I got a bunch of lug nut uh, sockets in here. Uh, I keep my die grinder in here. And then this works really good for timing belts. Uh, this little guy right here, uh, it's Matco. I'm um, sure Ingersoll Rand or something makes it. But anyways, uh, this thing is a little palm, little palm ratchet. You can get this in places that you can't get the cordless tools. So this works fantastic for timing belts. Honda timing belts, this is what you want to have. Uh, just on the side here, I got a big bag from uh, 1-800-RADIATOR. I keep this on my rag so I have it um, convenient for me. Um, I've had this piece of... Uh, hose here that I've used for finding exhaust leaks and vacuum leaks ever since I first started Got all my uh, uh, bungee cords that I bought from Harbor Freight Keep my gloves here 
Got my brake lube, my anti-seize that's sensor safe, my WD-40. And then on the back, I got my Gripti-Co little magnetic bolt trays. Bought a three pack. I bought the two, it has the two purple and the pink. Love those. Uh, and then they have these uh, silicone trays here. I have a big one, a small one, and a big one. Use those quite often. Now this is from Boltster. This one is actually pretty awesome right here. This one has multiple places. You can put bolts in here. You can use it as uh, storage. I use it to put tools in. I like it because it's blue, so it stands out on the engine. So then I don't lose my tools. So I like this. I use this under the hood, under dashes a lot. Uh, then on the back of here, I just have my Craftsman uh, little expen expandable uh, trays. Uh, I get bounced around a lot, so I have to use, um, I have to have a lot of different stuff for different cars. And uh, just some magnetic trays back there. Uh, then most of all, you want to have these. You want to have some good uh, earplugs so when you're doing front end work, um, you don't get blasted with, uh, with the air. Uh, and then over here, uh, the last thing I have is my Air 2 oil, which I don't use very often. My anti-seize, I use this for uh, the inside of a 6-liter turbo to clean it. That's about the only reason I use this is when I take a turbo apart and put it back together. And then I keep my PB Blast here, but I'm doing a Duramax turbo, so it's over at the truck. Uh, and I think the last thing I got is my Snap-on Air Chuck here, hangs here. A couple ratchets that I love. I absolutely love these two ratchets right here. These are my by far my favorite two ratchets I own. I use these all the time. With these two ratchets, they are beefy enough where you can break some of the strongest bolts loose in where you have no room. These work great. And if you don't have one of these, it's called a lady's foot. You want one of these. These work great for popping out valve cover seals, tube seals in valve covers. Use these, pop them right out. And then it also has a punch on the end. So that is my tool cart, uh, my updated tool cart. A lot of, some of the stuff is the same, some stuff I've added, I've changed it up quite a bit, but I roll this thing around everywhere and I primarily work out of this and I don't have to go to my box very often. There's my other boxes there. So thanks for watching, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, you get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't wanna miss. Also in my link tree, I have a link to my Amazon store where I have some of these tools and you can click on the link and buy them and you're supporting me as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.